Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I am in New Haven, Connecticut. Today is a very special day because we're going to Louis' lunch since 1895 where they have been, they invented the hamburger. Never in my life have I been so excited for a burger. I still get excited every day when I come in and make one. Yes, that's awesome. One of the world's most iconic foods. They invented it. They use these original vertical hamburger grills, which will hopefully have a chance to see the entire process of them cooking the burgers. Cannot wait to share the original hamburger with you right now. Welcome to Louis' lunch since 1895. Just walking down the road, you can already smell the, the aroma of roasting, just grilling beef. And it's such an iconic building, the red brick, the red shutters and black shutters. It's so incredibly iconic. I'm, I'm so excited. Louis' lunch the in legend. the rain. It's the true. It's 1895. So so the legend goes that uh, the main track from Europe to America was from Hamburg, Germany to New York and sailors brought over the ground beef and it was here that Louis Lassen uh, gave a customer in a rush the ground beef which had been around for some time and stuck it between two pieces of bread so that he could run off in a hurry and this is the place lots of people say they invented the burger at state fairs and things but this place popularized it and it's the only place still going so Many people credit Louis Lunch as the inventor of the hamburger, the modern hamburger. Jeffrey and I have discussed this a few times. It's not necessarily that they 100% invented it, but they're the ones who popularized Absolutely. it. They're the ones who made it known to the world. And so as far as we can say for sure is that Louis, all other hamburgers originally come from yes. Louis Lunch. Yes, because all the other potential predecessors, there's long gone and there's no trace of them. And Louis still going strong. So if you're eating a hamburger, <laughs> no matter where you are, it likely has been influenced by Louis' Louis lunch. lunch. <laughs> Louis lunch. That's just mind blowing to think. I mean, this is possibly the most iconic food in the world. In the world. In the world. Yeah. There's no food. The that's hamburger. In more countries, no. in more cities, no. in more restaurants, bars, airports than the burger. The burger. <laughs> and here we are. Hey, wait till you see this place inside. I can't wait. And I mean, I, I haven't even stepped foot inside and I can already smell that aroma of the grilling beef. <laughs> Louis lunch, this Let's, is like a, a pilgrimage destination. Let's do this. Let's do this, we're dripping in the rain. I really gotta clean off that lens before we, before we film the burgers. Let's go inside. Hamburgers, cheeseburgers, sides. All right, you know what, I'm gonna get. Step into here. This is, it, nothing has changed in a hundred years. Over a hundred years. Four menu items. It smells so good in here. All burgers are cooked, medium rare. Thank you. No, there's no choices. There's no, you do not make it how you like it. You take it how they make it. Even the menu, it's just a hamburger or a cheeseburger. Tomatoes or onions only, with an emphasis on only. Four cheeseburgers with tomato. Two plates. Food, traveling around the world and food. Are you doing some New Haven pizza stuff too? Yes. Now the burger grills are on these vertical, completely vertical flame broiled machines that have a chimney at the top. The, the machines actually say since 1898? Yep. 1898. Are those the originals? Yep. The original burger flame, flame broiled, right? Yep. Flame broiled Vertical, machines. Vertical. Cast iron Vertical cast iron broiler. It's one of the most beautiful cooking devices the world has ever seen. And he has these grills that he, he sandwich the burgers between these grills, shove them into a, that drawer, the vertical drawer where they're just flamed. And then every now and then he flips them over and then puts them back. How long do the burgers take to grill in that? 10, 12 minutes. All right, never in my life have I been so excited for a burger. I still get excited every day when I come in and make one. Yes, that's awesome. <laughs> How often do you eat the burgers? Every day? Every day I work. I work three days a week. Okay. I have two or three. All right. So it's actually just like a hand smash of the burger. It's not too tight. No, the more you play with it, the, the more um, it doesn't 
sweet steak tender. Ah, so you don't want to pat it down too hard. It's no. just like a, it's almost just like a press, a no press, knife, right? Exactly, right. No knife cut. Yeah. No really? knife cut. It's all, all hand, just a ball of ground beef, just no, we already, lightly. We already grind this this morning. Okay. So cool, thank you so much. I am in the kitchen where the hamburger was invented. This is it, by the toaster. Burger aromas back here are irresistible. Mark, you didn't put yep. toast on the toaster. Oh man, oh. I didn't take to come back and fill it, it come back to work. <laughs> yes, put me to work. Toaster's from 1929. 1929. Still working perfectly? Still working. The toast goes up the conveyor belt, toast's coming down and then drops out the bottom. Gas toaster, cool. The electric drives the chain, it's like a bicycle spark. Ah. Mark. I marked the uh, chain Yes. Oh, you're... <laughs> Look at that. Oh, man. So you gotta flip them every now and then? Yeah, because the heat rises so it cooks on the top more than the bottom. Ah, okay. That's how we see if they're done or not done. Okay. They're at the rear stage right now. All right. That's the best way to get it. Oh, yeah. That was your burger heat great flame broiled to run through. The flame on both sides, sealing in the juices into the center of the burger. What an invention. That's the cheese? Really? Oh yeah, no, bar's a different thing, but at least at least they make a quality pizza. Yeah. Well, but that's what they're being. Yeah, I know. I... Yeah. 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 Oh, look at that onion slice. Beautiful. A lot of practice. Yeah. Oh, man. You know why we cut it that way? No. So, how long do the juices come up against my eyes? Nice. Oh, that is genius, yeah. The bottom, the bottom cut. How long have you been making the burgers here? I've been here since 1994. Wow. Wow, yes. awesome. I only started cooking the ball when I knew I was Thank you so much. Is right, well, yep. that okay? Andrew. All right. This comes in. Okay. Thank you. They have a number of tables, but the coolest by far place to sit. Yes, Jeffrey. Please. Are these 1895 booths? 
<laughs> Look at this. This is the greatest chair. This is the greatest eating chair in the world. In the world. Can we say that? It's almost like a, Can a we burger, say that? It's a burger throne. <laughs> it's a throne, yeah. <laughs> this is a royal burger throne from 1895. Everyone who's ever eaten here has etched their initials into the wood. Everyone who's ever eaten here has put their, their hand oils onto this wood. <laughs> this flavor. is the greatest thing oh ever. And again, oh, one thing you have to know is that there's no ketchup, no mustard. It's that cheese spread. He made sure to tell me that never put cold cheese on a hot burger. And so that's why Louis decided that this spreadable warm cheese is the greatest thing to complement the burger. The vertical flame broil grill seals in the juices from both sides. It's just, it's genius. It drips all over itself. Why has it changed from this? Nothing should have ever changed. It needs to go back. <laughs> yes, they need to bring it back. I can't even believe that I'm sitting here on the throne about to eat the world's first burger where they invented it. Okay, one, two, three. Mm. Oh, wow. Mmm. Juicy. Oh, it's so good. Your burger flavor. Yeah. yeah. Unadulterated. Pure. It's the pure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So pure. Try this. You got it going? Um. We have our own blend of ketchup. Oh. Yeah, really? you can close up. You want to try it? Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that is so good. <laughs> Oh my god, I wish I was on my camera, he covered it all up. Oh, that's oh hilarious. That is hilarious. The joke is on all of us, we oh really god. thought he was serious. Yeah, I was like, oh, their, own, so their own house <laughs> blend of ketchup. <laughs> that was awesome. But the burger, burger itself is just simple perfection. Yeah. You really taste the beef. The, the bread is not overpowering because it's just thin layers of toast. You've got the juicy tomato, I've got the onions on there, which I love the onions. And then even the cheese is not overpowering at all. That burger though. I feel like that grill must have added so much like flavor as each one is cooked too. Mm. You know, it's like totally. there's a flavor like in this burger. Totally sealed in the yep. flavor. Yep. Locks it into your patty. Mm. <laughs> it's every bit as great this as I like had imagined. This like like DNA of a burger. You know, it's got like, this is where it all started, right and here. With white Every variation of the burger has come from this, unchanged since 1895. Even with the white bread, white toast. Even I like the toast, how it's so thin, you just like kind of, it's barely, barely there to just, so the, the burger is not hot in your fingers. The burger actually predates hamburger buns. That's the reason they still use the toast. The burger came before the bun. Yeah, that totally makes sense. Mm. It's the most pure, pure burger that you'll have, like, not all these fancy ingredients. I mean, not, not even the ketchup and the mustard to cover up the flavor of the beef. You just ultimately taste the flavor of the beef, the crunch of the onion, the, the subtlety of the toast. The best thing about finishing your first half, you have another half. Well, just like, it's everything it needs to be, nothing more, nothing less. Precisely. Nothing changed. Have a seat, have a burger, man. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Last bite. This is a bite I'll cherish for the rest of my life. Mm. Oh. It's so good, then. I don't think you could possibly find a better burger eating situation, experience in the world. Well, I mean, you can't. They invented it. Louis Lunch, 1895. It's so good. You take a quick nap in there, too. You could. You could just curl up in here. You could spend the night in this, in this pulpit, this burger pulpit. Yeah, just get a blanket. Just going to try a bite of this, the legendary potato salad, too. Served in a cup, a paper cup, 
Micah didn't get any. What? Micah didn't get any. Mmm. Okay. Oh. oh, the potato salad is awesome too. Minimal, but so refreshing, so creamy, not too mayonnaise-y even. Yeah, it's like it's almost like mashed potatoes with a little chunkier. Oh, it's great. Mashed potatoes is wonderful. I mean, potato salad is wonderful. And apple pie. Chite Eats has busted out the apple pie. Like I said, the burger and apple pie, there's nothing more American, and it is the 4th of July, so. Oh, yeah. Mm. The apples in here are super crisp. And then that flaky, buttery crust is incredible. You need and you gotta let me tell you, she knows her desserts. I know my desserts. Yes. That's like, we can trust her. I do not know my desserts. She knows her desserts. Well, you gotta give it a try. It got the seal of approval from Jessica here. I gotta try. Oh, it's thick. Yeah, and the apples like, still have bursting. Nice bursting with oozy apple crustiness. <laughs> So good. Oh, it is so good. Mm -hmm. It's so classic. It it's is. like that is the apple pie you dream of. It's like the. All that's like, missing is a scoop of vanilla ice cream, but. It's, it's okay. like straight up the like. <laughs> as straight of an apple pie as possible, right? Like, and honestly, and like, it's so good. It's just the perfect thing to this burger. You got the savory, then you have to end it with a little sweet. Mm hmm. And. The butteriness classic. of the. The pastry, yeah, the crust. And the, I like that the apples the top still crust. Have, like, they're like, they have a little bit more to them. Yeah, you're right. A bite. They're big pieces of apple. Big yeah, pieces of apple. They're like. juicy. They're crispy. And that's that cinnamon oh, and yeah. sweetness. The cinnamon is amazing too. Perfect ending. I'm gonna have one more bite. It's rare that I take two bites of a dessert. Yeah. <laughs> I'm usually a one dessert, one bite dessert kind of, kind of guy, but I have to. And enjoying it. I feel honored that you took two bites. Woo! Great. <laughs> Bringing you to the dessert First time side. Ever. First time ever. Wow. I have to check out the restroom. Just one last thing here. Where's the light? Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got a fan hole. That's all I thought. Yeah, they painted it this week blue. That's different. Got to see your t-shirt, too. Yeah. Who said that dirty word? Yeah. <laughs> you take that, there's a picture, uh, the top picture in that room, the, the restaurant we were, it was a little tiny, it was half this size. Oh, really? They picked it up and they moved it over here in 1975. Ah. On the table, the picnic table, you see a picture of it on the, of the restaurant on the truck. Okay, I'm going to come right over there. Paul and... Lisa, thank you guys so much. This was absolutely incredible. Uh, I was born in Phoenix, actually, from Phoenix, from Phoenix. But I, my wife is Thai. We lived in Thailand for about 12 years now. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Thank you. You too. It's amazing. You know the migration. In 120 years, it's managed to spread from New Haven, Connecticut around the entire world. And that's not not to say that they 100% invented the burger but they popularized it and made it known. And that we can say with certainty. So there's just no other experience like it, eating experience like that in the world. I still can't even believe we just ate the original burger. That was amazing. Cannot recommend it highly enough. And huge thank you to Paul for just taking care of us and for so much hospitality, generosity in the kitchen there. And a big thank you to you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up for the original burger. Let me know in the comments below, have you tried Louis' lunch before or would you love to try Louis' lunch? And I'd love to hear from you. Thanks again for watching. Remember to subscribe for lots more food videos and I will see you on the next video.